and welcome back to the Miss Clark's Class channel. Today we'll be reading Chapter 5 of Science Night. So far, we've met two students, we've learned their classroom job duties, and we've gotten a peek into their family life. Today, Julie will be our narrator again, and she's back at school. Let's see how things go. Chapter 5 is called First Day on the Job and is narrated by Julie. If you have your own copy of Science Night, we're starting out on page 20. It's a cloudy but comfortable morning. The ground is wet and the toads are happy, croaking and jumping in puddles. Dad and I measured 0.53 inches of rain in our gauge this morning. As I walk to school, I wonder what the school gauge will show. Do you think it rained more or less at school? I asked Dad. We live so close to school, but I'll guess more, Clara says as she kicks a wet pine cone down the sidewalk. Hmm, I'm not sure, Dad answers. There seems to be more puddles as we get closer, so I'll go with Clara's guess of more. Clara proudly smiles up at Dad as he squeezes both our hands. What do you think? I need more information before I make my prediction, I say as I adjust my glasses. Spoken like a true meteorologist, Dad teases. As we drop Clara off at her classroom, Dad continues to walk with me to the school rain gauge. There are a few students in the courtyard, but it's otherwise quiet. Would you look at that? They have the same rain gauge as us, Dad says. All right, what's your reading? I peek at the water level inside the measuring tube. I think it reads 0 0.97 inches. Is that right? I ask. My dad gives it a look. Sure is, he proudly verifies. Now what do you do? I pour out the rainwater and log the total on Miss Clark's computer, I say. She said she will help me get the temperature and wind information. I give Dad a hug and dash into the building. Miss Clark smiles as I walk into the classroom. Good morning, Julie. I saw you outside with your father. How much rain fell in the gauge? 0 0.97 inches, I answer. Where should I log it? Miss Clark shows me how to enter the data into her computer. As I'm typing in the last bit of information, the bell rings. Kids come streaming into the classroom and butterflies immediately start swarming my stomach. I completely forgot I have to talk in front of my class. How could I forget such a thing? Class, take a seat. Julie is just about to present her first morning weather report, says Miss Clark. I can give a weather report, smirks Robbie. It rained last night and it's cloudy. Everyone giggles and for some reason I can't explain. I feel embarrassed. Thank you for stating the obvious, Robbie, but Julie will provide you with a little more information than that, Miss Clark claps back. Julie? come share your weather knowledge with the rest of us. I stand up from Miss Clark's chair and make my way again to the front of the classroom. After clearing my throat, I say, yes, it rained, but the neat thing is how much it rained at school compared to my house. I pause as bored faces stare at me. Despite my nerves, I continue. You see, I live just three blocks away from the school and last night, my dad and I set up a rain gauge at my house before the rain started. This morning, I took a rainfall report at my house and then at school. Even though I live close, nearly twice as much rain fell at school. To be exact, 0 0.53 inches fell at my house and 0 0.97 inches fell at school. Miss Clark interrupts. That's fantastic, Julie. I've never had a weather reporter take observations at two different locations. Class, Julie is providing you with a great lesson on rainfall variability. I suggest you pay close attention to her morning reports. My classmates' bored faces morph to impressed expressions. Did I just become the best 5B weather reporter on the second day of school? So that's it for chapter five. With a little practice and some encouragement from her parents, it seems like Julie's becoming more comfortable with her role as classroom weather reporter. Now, here she is taking an observation at school. In the book I wrote, 0 0.97 inches of rain. I could have put it in word form, and then I would have written 97 hundredths of an inch of rain. Going forward, we'll continue to use the decimal version, but either is fine. Next time, we'll be reading chapter six and we'll learn a little bit more about how Robbie's feeling. Until then, make sure you click to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future readings. 
class dismissed.